how a woman's suit should fit. Welcome to my channel, it's your girl Kimchi Warrior Princess and today we'll be discussing in detail how the woman's classic suit should fit. This channel, we're all about helping you look and feel your best for your professional life. So if that interests you, click that red subscribe link below and hit the bell for notifications on all future videos. My goal here is really to help you look and feel your best for work, whether that's lounging around well, not really lounging, but working from home in pajamas um, or you're in the office every single day in a formal business environment. It really just all depends on each individual situation. But once in a while, you may find yourself needing to go into the office or needing to go to an interview or do a Zoom interview or a Zoom meeting. And at least from the waist up, you need to look decent. That's what I'm here for, to help you out. It has been proven that within seconds and without a word even coming from your mouth that people have made a judgment about you. And how did that judgment come about? It's from your appearance. It's from what you're wearing, how you groomed yourself, and um, also your posture. So how you carry yourself. So you could be wearing the most beautiful suit in the world, but if you're hunched over and kind of just looking at the ground, that's not going to help you out. So I'm here to help you look your best and carry yourself the best and just kind of put the best foot forward. So really today is for my professional ladies. I want to take an in-depth look at how the suit should fit you. Um, there's not much information out there. It's all about men's suits and then women's kind of just goes with the fashion, but there actually is a standard for women in business professional settings that you should know about um, if you're entering that kind of environment. So essentially there's three key pieces that go into the woman's suit. Um, that's the blazer, like what I'm wearing right now. There'll be the blouse or the top piece that you wear underneath it. And then there's the trousers or a skirt. Um, so I'm going to be going into detail on each of these pieces and what to look for when you're shopping for it or when you're being measured or um, tailored for it after you've purchased one in the store. If you'd like to see more details on how to style the classic women's suit, um, watch my video that I've already made on this topic and I'll link that right here. And it also includes some ideas on where to start shopping for a lady's suit too. Additionally, I have a playlist um, where it shows all the sexy yet comfortable uh, shoes that you can wear to go with your suit. And when I say sexy, I mean like uh, sexy yet still professional. All right, ladies, so let's get right into this. Hey guys, okay, so let's start with the blazer that we have right here. So first thing that you need to fit right is the shoulders. If the shoulders don't fit, the whole thing is totally off. So the shoulders extend to the very end of my actual own shoulders and you need it to match your own shoulder width and then the sleeves will drop down from that point. If they go too inwards, like the shoulders aren't wide enough, um, it's gonna be all tight in your upper arms and you're gonna look fat. So you don't want that, you want it to actually extend to the very end. The second thing you need to look for is the actual width, like the space that you have inside of the blazer to make sure that you have enough space where you can move around, lift your arms up, and that you have space for your chest, essentially. So some details to look for when shopping for a suit, make sure that it has pockets, that's always a bonus, and that they're actual real ones as well. Um, also make sure that it's lined, um, unless if you do prefer like a very thin blazer, but lining is always nice. And when it comes to buttons, if you have larger than say like a C cup, I prefer one button blazers for my larger chest ladies because there's less tugging and pulling and gaping between the buttons. In case you're curious, I'm 5'5 five five for reference and my dimensions and all the outfit details with links will be listed in the description box below. The third key thing with the blazer is the length of it. You want it to hit at about your hip region. Anything shorter than that gives off a more casual vibe. So the next thing is the sleeve length, and this is usually pretty adjustable. So you just need to make sure that it hits that first bone that um, sticks out of your thumb, basically. If you do wear watches or you wanna show it off a little bit, a little shorter is totally fine. So the next piece we're discussing are the trousers or the pants. 
So there's three main parts to this. You have the waist size itself, the rise of the pant, and then also the length of it. So depending on the material of the suit, um, you may want to have more or less room in the waist. So since this is a less stretchy fabric, it's 50-50 wool silk blend, um, I left a little bit more room in the waist. So next up is the rise of the pant. And for most women, I recommend a mid-rise pant. So hitting just at or slightly below the belly button is a good area where you can tuck in most shirts and it's going to give off a professional vibe. Side note, you also want a little bit of room, like wiggle room in the butt region. You don't want it skin tight, all right guys? So the last piece is the length of the pant itself, which is actually a personal preference. I always recommend an at the ankle length as it's the most versatile. If you do choose to do a longer pant with a heel, um, it could look really flattering by the way. If you do like kind of a flare leg, that is the same color shoe and pant and it can make you look very tall too. Skirt length is the next thing. So with this, you wanna hit it in the knee area I like it right at the knee or right below it so that in case if you need to bend over or when you sit down, you end up not showing so much thigh and people do notice this, trust me. The skirt waist should also be worn either at the mid or high waist and then it looks nice when the blouse is tucked in with most blouses too. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, hit that thumbs up button below. So if you have a long sleeve shirt, let it poke out just a tiny bit out of your sleeve. And another quick reminder, always make sure that those X's that are sewn onto the back flaps are always cut off your blazer and the back of your skirt too. So here we have your classic woman's button up collar blouse. This one happens to be from Express. And with this, make sure that the buttons on the blouse um, that they're placed in a good place. You definitely want a button that's placed in between the breasts so that it doesn't um, pull apart or gape at that point and expose your bra. When selecting the right blouse, make sure that it fits at the bust and the shoulders. And then if it's too loose in the stomach region, um, a seamstress can bring it in where the darts or the seams are that are on both sides of the shirt as well. So this is a nice other feminine option to the blouse or an alternative. I like to do something other than the regular shirt that I just showed you. Um, sometimes this is nice in the summertime or in the winter, I like to do a turtleneck under a blazer for a very classy look. So I took this white Shein blouse, and then this time I paired it with a Banana Republic Italian wool stretch pantsuit, and it's in navy, and I matched it to these Aquitalia booties. And these booties, by the way, um, I got them with the Nordstrom anniversary sale. They are quite the investment, but they are so comfy and sleek looking and a great wintertime alternative to a pump. This suit is very lightweight, so it's great for hotter days, and I got it both in a size four top and bottom. So many studies have proven that women candidates running for office have fared so much better when they wear simple jewelry as opposed to no jewelry or a ton of jewelry. So here's a few necklaces I got from Dior that I'm wearing, and also my Kate Spade everyday earrings. Another great suit option is this one, which happens to be super budget friendly that I got from Fashion Nova. Um, the blazer, the pants, and the top. And as you can see, the pockets aren't real on the blazer, um, but it's pretty basic, but super stretchy, comfy. Um, I got the top piece, the blazer in a size small, the pants I got in a medium, I do have kind of wider hips, and the top I got in a small as well. Um, besides the amazing price, I think all three pieces came out to about $45. Um, it is machine washable, and it it fits kind of very nice and flexible as you can see the waist is stretchy um, as long as the shoulders fit you and those pants aren't super skin tight I think it looks awesome all right so this next suit is from Aritzia and you may recognize it from some other videos I've done in the past but to go into detail about this this is the Babaton power blazer and also the Babaton Conan pant and the color is Camille and I got both the blazer and the pant in a size four. 
Um, this v-neck camisole blouse I got at Express and it just happened to be the exact same color so I do pair it all together and as you can see it's kind of a longer blazer it covers the butt um, which is kind of nice it doesn't show panty lines so you can wear your granny panties with these if you want but um, having that monochrome look it'll lengthen your entire appearance you look skinnier taller um, and then also I got it in this beige color which I believe uh, was called Sierra beige the bodysuit that I'm wearing underneath it happens to be my own that I already had. And look, it has those deep pockets again. Um, it's got the stretchy waist. Um, this whole set is awesome. And I actually just ordered a third set of this just because if I find something that amazing, I have to have it in like every color. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If there's something else you'd like to see, drop in the comment below. I'm always open to suggestions, and this is a community. I wanna hear your feedback, and I wanna give you information too, so um, please engage with me. I love reading your comments. Um, so I'll see you in the next video.